Hello, welcome to the art of cooking. Today we're going to make chicken with broccoli. Chicken with broccoli, like beef with broccoli, all uses the same sauce, the brown sauce. Today I'm going to show you two methods of making chicken with broccoli, stir fried and the healthier version, boiled. There's also the third way, which is the restaurant way. It's partially fried, then boiled, then sauced. Not very efficient for home cooking though. If you would like to see the restaurant version, please check out my beef with broccoli video. Please remember that regardless of which method you use, beef has a shorter cooking time than chicken. Nevertheless, same ingredients, just different method of making the same dish. So let's get started. Cut a small portion off, about 28 grams, one ounce, or about two inch, five centimeters of a carrot. Slice a small portion into thin slices, about 2.5 millimeter or one tenth of an inch in thickness. Cut 250 grams or 8.8 .8 ounce of broccoli into florets. Cut 270 gram or 9.5 ounce of chicken breast into thin slices. First, cut the breast into halves, then slice the breast into pieces at a 45 degree angle from the thinnest part to the thickest part. Cutting this way will go against the grain, the muscle fibers, resulting a tender chicken breast. Each slice should be about 1 8 inch or 3 millimeter in thickness. To the chicken breast, add in 1 4th teaspoon of salt, a pinch of white pepper, about 1 10th teaspoon, a dash of garlic powder, 2 pinch or 1 8th teaspoon, 2 tablespoons of water, and mix. Let the chicken marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, add in 1 tablespoon of cornstarch and mix until all the cornstarch powder are gone. Then add in half a tablespoon of oil and mix until all the oil are gone. It should look something like this. Now let's make the slurry thickener. In a cup, add in 1 tablespoon of potato starch and 1 tablespoon of water and stir. In a pot of boiling water, add in the broccoli and blanch for 30 to 45 seconds. After 30 to 45 seconds, remove the broccoli from the boiling water and set it aside. Heat your pan or wok until it's hot. Add in 2 and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. In my case, I have to add in 4 tablespoons to cook the whole wok, but I only use 2 and a half to cook the chicken. Turn your fire to medium high when cooking the chicken breast. Spread the chicken breast out to ensure even cooking. Cook for about 30 seconds, then flip the chicken over and cook the other side for another 30 to 40 seconds. After 30 to 40 seconds, stir fry the chicken for about 45 seconds to a minute. Then add in the sliced carrots and stir fry for about 30 seconds. Add in the partially cooked broccoli and stir fry for about 20 to 30 seconds. Add in 3 fourth cup or 177 milliliter of brown sauce and the potato starch slurry. For the brown sauce, click on the upper left corner of this video. Stir fry until the chicken and the vegetables are well coated. Then add in half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Stir fry for a few seconds, turn the fire off, and it's done. Now let's move on to the healthier method, the boiling method. In a pot of boiling water, add in 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Add in the broccoli, boil it for 30 seconds, After 30 seconds, add in the sliced carrots and continue to boil for 1 minute. After a minute, take out the broccoli and the carrots. Total time for the broccoli should be 1 minute and 30 seconds and the carrot a minute. Reboil the water, add in the chicken breast. Stir the chicken around to separate the chicken pieces. Boil the chicken for 1 minute 30 seconds to 2 minutes. After about a minute 30 seconds to 2 minutes, remove the chicken from the water.
In a pan or wok, add in 3 4 cup or 177 ml of brown sauce. Add in the potato slurry when the sauce is still warm. Once the sauce thickens or boiled, add in the chicken with broccoli. Now all you have to do is coat the chicken and the broccoli with the sauce or you can walk it out, it's faster. Lastly, I did half a teaspoon of sesame oil. So there you have it, chicken with broccoli. Two methods, stir fried and boiled. Again, these two methods are ideal for home cooking. While the third method, which is the restaurant method, consists of par frying at 325 or 185 Celsius, then boiled, then then salt. The par frying step also aids in the process of making beef or chicken tender. Thank you for watching. Make sure to rate, fave, subscribe, and leave a comment below.